Hello and welcome to episode one of this new series of video tutorials for Paranox Discovery. And this series is called a beginner's guide and that's exactly what it is. It's for those of you who have never used Paranox Discovery before. Uh, maybe you've downloaded it uh, and you're ready to, to try it out and you want to learn and get started as quickly as possible. Well, this is the ideal series for you. And we're just going to do a, a series of relatively short videos uh, to help you get going. Now, my name is Malcolm Calvert. I'm the director of Pramix Micro Simulation based in Edinburgh in Scotland. Um, it's a pleasure to uh, be able to just talk you through some of an introduction to, to Pramix Discovery and hopefully help you uh, to get going with the product. Okay, so let's go get started. And the first thing that we're going to do is open up uh, Pramix Discovery itself. And I'll do that by launching it from uh, the desktop icon. Now this is Pramix Discovery 21, so it's the newest version available. And you can download this as a free trial from our website. This brings me into a welcome screen. And from there I've got two options. I can either create a new model or I can open an existing one. Now first of all I'm going to open an existing one to show you what a model looks like and how it operates and how to navigate around it. And then we'll get into creating a new model in the next episode. So I'm going to open an existing model. I've got one on my desktop called Signal Control Junctions. And this model comes when you install Promise Discovery. So you'll be able to have access to this uh, and to play around with it if you've installed the free trial. Okay, so it's a relatively simple, uh, small model. It's got a few junctions here um, in an urban area and they're their signal control junctions. So we'll look at those in a little bit more detail in due course. But first of all, I just want to show you how to kind of navigate around uh, the product and find your way around. So the first thing is to be able to navigate um, in the workspace itself. And there's a few techniques to do that. Uh, the first one is really to zoom in and zoom out. And you can do that on the, with the scroll wheel on your mouth. So it's very simple to, to zoom in and zoom out of the model. You can also pan around the model by holding the middle mouse button and uh, panning around like this. So you can go to a specific uh, part of the, the road network, zoom in uh, um, like so. Now you can also pan on the left click if you choose the hand icon up here. And that allows you to pan without any uh, risk of selecting any objects. Uh, and also you're able to do it with the left mouse button, which you might prefer. Now if I hold down shift on the keyboard and middle click, you can see that I can uh, change the angle of the model I'm looking at, like so. And there's also a 3D mode in Pramix Discovery. And you can turn that on and off by hitting the full stop or period on your keyboard. Uh, and so if I turn that on and hold shift and the middle mouse button, you can see that I can now navigate around um, in three dimensions and I can zoom in and out in three dimensions as well. So the controls for navigation are relatively simple. Um, a combination of the scroll wheel and middle mouse button and using the shift key uh, for changing the angle. So we've been doing this in the first tab on our series, which is called Edit Network. And in this tab, this is where we really construct and code a model, as you can see the one uh, before you. Uh, and that's the first part of the process of building a model in Paramix Discovery. Let me briefly talk you through the other tabs. The second one is called Edit Demand. And this is where we add in traffic data. It's in a matrix format. So it goes from a zone origin to a zone destination. Uh, and we'll talk about that in more detail in a later episode. And then the third tab along is where we can visualize uh, the traffic on the network. So I'm just going to change the speed to uh, five times real time, which will be a bit easier to see and zoom in. And then by hitting the space bar or by pressing play down here, it starts the simulation and you can see traffic uh, beginning to load onto the network uh, and travel through. So 
So the Visualize tab is where we can observe the operation of the network. It's really useful uh, both for sort of checking your model as you're developing it that uh, the, the traffic is behaving as you would expect and has, as has been observed, but also then for presenting a model uh, to a client when you've uh, completed it. The Simulate tab, the fourth one along, is for running the model to collect uh, results, uh, to collect the, the data outputs. And it runs much quicker than the Visualize tab because you don't have the graphical aspect of it. But the operation of the model is exactly the same as it's simulating through here and collecting results. And then finally, the Analyze tab is where those results are brought back into the model and you can view uh, the data on the model. And we'll go through all of these in a bit more detail through the different episodes, but hopefully that gives you uh, a sense of overview of uh, the structure um, of the product. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at in this episode is how do we select objects, um, move them, delete them, and change their properties. So the network, as it's coded, is, is made up of a series of different kinds of objects. Uh, and the most common ones are nodes and links. And you'll see these blue squares here are nodes. So this is node four. And I just select it by left clicking on it very simply. And links are objects which join nodes together. So if I select this link, you can see that it's highlighted. Um, and I can select either side of the carriageway uh, when I'm selecting links. Also in this model, I've got bus stops. Uh, I've got a text label. And I've got a zone. And zone are, zones are common objects for loading traffic onto the network. And we'll look at that in more detail in the next episode. So selecting an object, I just need to be in my Select Objects tool and left click. If I want to move it, I then hold the object. So I'm holding the left mouse button down and dragging to move that object. And you can see as I move my node, my links move alongside it. Same with this object as a text label uh, and my zone as well. And then if I want to delete an object, I can simply right click and delete and it removes the object from my network. Now all the objects have what we call properties uh, and to access those properties and edit them, I would simply select my object, right click and go to properties and it opens up a properties panel for that object. Now, if I select a link, it will automatically load in the properties of that link. And links are the objects really with most properties on the network. They carry things like um, speed limits, for example, which is really important uh, when you're coding a, a network to get the speed limits correct. Okay, so that's a little bit about selecting, moving, deleting, and editing objects. Okay, so the next thing we're going to learn is how to show different objects in our network. Now, you might have noticed uh, for most of this episode that we've had a styles panel open on the right hand side of the screen. Um, and if I close that, I'll just show you how to access that, which can be done through the edit network menu and styles. Now, there's several panels like this and they appear on the left or right of the screen. You can pin and unpin them. Uh, to create more space in the workspace if that's what you would prefer. Now in the styles what we've really got is the ability to turn various objects on and off in the network and you see that there's a lot of them overall. But we'll start with a few simple ones. So I can turn my nodes on and off. For example, uh, there I can turn my PT stops on and off and trajectories which are the blue lines that you can see, we can turn those on and off. Now each of these also have hotkeys which are shown to the right hand side of uh, the particular object. Uh, and that means that if I type on the keyboard, for example, M, I can switch my nodes off and on, uh, B for PT stops and T for my trajectories. And you'll start to pick up and learn these as you use Paramount's Discovery more and more. So that's the styles and hotkeys and the ability to turn different things on and off. And there's also a tool in the top right where you can locate particular objects. So if I zoom in and then go to my locate 
uh, function. Let's say I'm looking for node 13. I type 13 in. Now it shows me the node. It also shows me anything with a 13 in it. If I click on node 13, it will send to the screen there. I can also find links and zones. So zone three is here in my network. So that's all we're going to look at in episode one. I hope that's been a useful uh, initial introduction to Paramix Discovery. And in the next episode, uh, we're going to start to create our own nodes and links uh, and build uh, a network from scratch. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.